In this lecture, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a user in Oracle RDS. One of the core tasks of a DBA is managing user access to the database. So this is a very frequent task you'll be required to do within your organization. In a regular Oracle database, you'd use accounts like the Sys and System Accounts to create a user. However, in Oracle RDS, you would use the initial admin account you created when you were creating the instance. This user is granted the maximum user permissions on the DB instance, with a few limitations. You can use this account for any administrative task, such as creating additional users within the database. So because Amazon RDS is a managed service, sys and system users can't be used by default. These two users are the most powerful in the Oracle database. In order to create a user, you can use the create user statement which follows the basic syntax as shown on your screen or you could use SQL developer. So the create user parameter specify the name of the user that will be created. Identify by a password, specify a password for the local user to log on to the database. The default table space, specify the table space of which objects such as tables and views will be created. It's like a virtual storage within the database. If you're hearing about table space for the first time, don't worry, a module will be dedicated just to table spaces. So if you skip this clause, the user objects will be stored in the database default table space. Typically, this will be the user's table space. If there is no default table space, then it will be stored in the system table space. The quota parameter specifies the maximum space in a table space the user can use. You can have multiple quota clause for each table space. So if you do not intend to restrict the size of a table space, you can use the unlimited parameter. A user profile limits the database resources or password that the user cannot exceed. You can assign a profile to a newly created user. If you skip this clause, Oracle will assign a default profile to the user. So when you want a set of users to have similar constraint, like for example you want the password for users to be expired within 90 days, then you can assign that within a profile. If you want to force a user to change the password for the first time the user logs into the database, then specify the password expire option. If you want to enable or disable access for a user, you can lock or unlock the user account. In order to execute the create user statement, users must have the create user system privilege. In the next lecture, we'll be demonstrating how to create a user. As previously mentioned, there are two ways you can create a user. You can use this create user script as well as you can create it manually using the GUI interface from SQL Developer. So the first user we're going to create is a user called John, identified by a password johnny123 exclamation. The default table space is the user's table space. The temporary table space is temp and we'll set the password to expire. So whenever Johnny tries to connect with this password, it will prompt him to reset it. So let's execute. And as we can see, use the user John is created. To see a list of users within the database, you can query the DBA user view. So let's do a select all from DBA users. Now let's execute. Let's start by username. If we scroll down to J, we should be seeing John with a status of expired, lock date, lock date null. Today is January 23, expired date January 9, 2023, you default table space user, temporary table space temp, local table space temp as well, and it was created January the 9th. Default profile is default. And when you scroll across, you'll see other information about the user. So the second way to create a user is to use the GUI. So we're going to right click user, select create new user. And we're going to create a user called Johnny2. So let's create a user called Mary. Specify a password for the user. And here you have the options to specify you want, whether you want the user to expire. Whether it be operating system user, which it is not. Whether you want the account to be locked or unlocked. So we're going to keep this one as locked. 
and for the table space you can choose it from the drop down the default should be users and for the temporary table space is temp now if we select apply the user should be created now let's select all from dba users and we should be seeing mary at 24. so the user is locked created january the 9th and the default table space users temporary table space temp and the local temporary table space is temp now let's try connect to the database using johnny user so we're going to click the plus actually user is john the password is johnny123 exclamation save the password now let's do a test so it was an error aura01045 user john logs create session privilege log on denied so if we even select connect the user will not be able to connect to the database so in order for john or mary to connect to the database they need to have a create session privilege so in the next lecture coming up we're going to be taking out user roles how to grant them and how to create them